Hi, I'm Graham from Royston and Lund, and I'm here to give you a few tips on selling your house this summer 2023. So what we've been seeing in the marketplace is a lot of confusion from the buying public. There's nervousness from sellers thinking, are we going to be able to achieve the price we want to achieve? And there's a nervousness from buyers thinking, am I paying too much? So what we are seeing is that if you can set your price correctly, it will sell quicker. If we just take a look at some of the stats, just to back up what we're saying here, July 2022 to July 2023, stock levels were lower. Things were selling quicker, so things weren't on the market for so long. In the area that our Westbridge for Branch covers, we actually had 545 properties on the market. This year, we are already at 804. That is giving more option. It is also showing that properties are taking a little bit longer to sell. Over the same period, there were 142 house sales against 78 in July this year. Again, the good news is that properties are still selling. There is more nervousness. There are some houses that are overpriced and we're starting to see a reduction in those prices. If we actually look at the volume of reductions, this month alone already there have been 95 price reductions against last year where there were only 48. So it's very clear that we need to be setting everything out from the start, which is all about that marketing price. If we set the asking price at the right level, properties are still selling, people are still buying. We're seeing good levels of buying numbers if priced correctly at the start. Those properties that have come on at a slightly elevated asking price to start off with, we're now starting to see price reductions. So if we go a little bit too high, it is scaring people away. If it's set too high, it is taking eight, 10, 12 weeks. 18 months ago, it was common for a seal bid scenario, as it's called, where we have multiple bids on a property. This is less so today, but it is still a very strong market. So although we do have some nervousness in the market, what you need to do is be more realistic, be in the market rather than on top of the market. And if you're in the market with a sensible marketing price, there is still the ability to go up. We are still seeing sealed bids. We are still seeing people who want to pay a little bit more for a property if it's worth it. So don't be frightened of being aggressive with your marketing price. If you set your asking price at a realistic and achievable level and if it's set correctly you will have a successful sale.